If you want to take the edge off the spice, put like two teaspoons of mango chutney. After many requests, and I mean many, we are finally going to be making Jamie Oliver's famous butter chicken recipe or as I call it, the no butter butter chicken because it has no butter in it. And let me know before we get started how you think this recipe is going to turn out. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Let us know in the comments down below and before we get going, be sure to give this video a like, a share, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because trust me, this is one video that I did not want to make and well, look at me today, I'm making it, so here we go. I've come up with a recipe that you could do any day of the week. This is my kind of version of a butter chicken. Well, that's a true statement. I honestly think that Jamie was making this recipe up as he was going along because it kind of looks like it. All of this happens in a pan, so it's a super convenient recipe. Convenience does not always mean delicious. Let's get that on a high heat, and then I'm gonna add 700 grams of fresh tomatoes whole. Essentially what I wanna do is scald, char, and blacken the skins of these tomatoes. Already, look at that, can you see how we're blackening those tomatoes? That's gonna give a char, a smokiness. So just take these tomatoes off the vine. To make this recipe today, we got all the ingredients that Jamie is using in this video, and I couldn't get different colored cherry tomatoes, I only got some red ones, but they are a little sweet, so this should add a little bit of a sweetness to the sauce because again, this is going to be the foundation of the sauce and depending on the tomatoes, it can change the flavor. And I'll let Uncle Roger explain the sauce. Butter chicken is North Indian dish that use makani gravy, which is tomato-based gravy. So tomato correct, but just make tomato puree, no need to chat it. Now at the same time, as we blacken these, mm. we're gonna do the chilies. Split the chilies in half, and with the tip of the knife, take out the seeds. That's the hottest bit. The white membrane is actually what contains most of the oils or the capstacin, which can get onto the seeds. The seeds can make a dish hot, but in any case, we're going to cut these as Jamie has done, de-seed them, and we're going to add them to the pan as well. So in these go. Now, as these tomatoes get black all over, what you'll notice is naturally the skins are starting to peel off. Mm -hmm. Let's get the last of the chilies on there. Now let them cool down. If you want, you can cover them just to let them steam a little bit. Now what Jamie has just done with these tomatoes is a little trick that we do use in the kitchen, especially in more Southwestern cuisine, to take off the skin of chili peppers. It works very well. The marinade, really, really simple. In a bowl or a nice platter, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the garam masala. Uncle Roger liked this bit. Two tablespoons of the garam masala. Correct, garam masala correct. And we're gonna do the same as Jamie, adding the garam masala to our bowl as well. Then I'm gonna take eight cloves of garlic and just use a grater. Look at that. Then I want a nice big couple of thumb-sized pieces of ginger. Just take a little spoon to scrape the skin off the ginger. Then I'll use the same fine grater to grate the ginger. And one thing to know is that this little tip with taking the microplane and actually using the garlic and the ginger on this is an excellent little tip. It saves you a lot of time in the kitchen if you want to mince any of these ingredients quickly without having to use your knife. Okay, so into this, we will season it with salt and pepper. Two tablespoons mm -hmm. of lovely yogurt. We're gonna do as Jamie has done with the garlic, the ginger, and also adding yogurt to this. Now, when it comes to the chicken breast, it's almost twice the thickness here at this fat end than this part here at the thin end. So what I'll do is ignore this thin end and about here, start mm. to score it. About half a centimeter to a centimeter now thick. This will allow that lovely marinade to penetrate quicker. All right, I'll let Uncle Roger have a go at this. Hiya, Jamie, chicken breast. The marinade all ingredient correct. Uncle Roger pleasantly surprised, and then you fuck it up by using chicken breast, hiya. There's no polite way to marinade. Get that into all the little slits and the cuts. I'm gonna let that marinade for about 10 minutes and have a clean down. We're gonna do the same as Jamie with scoring the chicken and marinating our chicken as well for only 10 minutes. What he say? I'm gonna let that marinade for about 10 minutes. Marinate for 10 minutes? For butter chicken, we marinate overnight at least 12 hours. 10 minutes, that's not called marinade. That's just a splash. 10, 10 minutes, the, the chicken's still alive, it's still clucking. And to be quite honest, 10 minutes is not enough time for this marinade to do anything at all. Give it a couple hours at least, or overnight is even better. Right, let's get cooking the chicken. I'm gonna get this nice and hot. I'll add a little bit of oil to a pan, mm. and then let's put the chicken straight into that hot oil. And I wanna get it dark and golden, 
think even Uncle Roger missed this part in his original video, but this is the part where Jamie adds olive oil to make the butter chicken. Now, if you're at home and you just have some olive oil, it's not a big deal, all right? It isn't. However, olive oil, and especially this, which I think is extra virgin, it has a very strong flavor, and these flavors do not mix well with a lot of these other spices. So while that's frying away, let's peel these tomatoes. Just take the skins off and the little stalk. Mm. The chilies I'll keep to one side. Hey! Mm. Fudge, do you want to turn the chicken for me, darling? So when it comes to cooking the chicken, we're only going to do it for like eight to 10 minutes. Well done, mate. Seeing this actually reminds me of cooking with my dad when I was little. I learned how to cook when I was five years old with my dad. This is the cactus here. This is the cactus. This is the prickly pear. This grows on the end of the prickly pear. Usually they come out in the end of August. Then again, Uncle Roger may think of this as free labor, which it is in a way, free labor. Ah, making your kid work for you for free? Uncle Roger, like, that's the main reason Asian people have kit anyway. So look, we've peeled through all of these little tomatoes. And then you can gather all of these little skins at the end, put them in your hand, and in there, that mm. is pure flavor. You go and wash your hands, big boy. We're gonna be doing the same as Jamie by peeling the tomato skins. Now, when you're squeezing the juice out of the tomato skins, if you wanna get like every ounce of juice out of that, you need to really squeeze the tomato skins like you hate them. Emotional, damn it! Oh, chicken's looking amazing. Gnarly on both sides and just cook through perfect. Gnarly, there's his favorite word again. My gnarly peanut chicken. Gnarly on both sides. Gnarly, who described good food as gnarly? That how Uncle Roger described Auntie Helen. Gnarly. Now let's make the sauce. It's really, really simple. So use all those pan juices mm. there. Now we have seared the chicken as Jamie has done over high heat. We have fully cooked the chicken through. If you cook like this and you will see the amount of residue that is left in the pan and this, if it's not burnt, adds flavor. If it's burnt, it adds a bitterness to whatever sauce you're making. And if you don't want to make this sauce even worse, then I suggest cleaning it. Let's get the tomatoes and all the juices into the pan. And now in with two tablespoons of that cashew butter. Cashew butter? Milk. What is cashew butter? Mm. Butter chicken, we just use cashew nut paste. Cashew butter sounds like some mm. organic grocery store whole food bullshit. For anybody learning Spanish, here's something new for you. Crema de anacardos. This is the cashew butter that we're going to be using, just like Jamie in the video. And this is 100% cashews. Nothing else is added to it. Now, like Jamie, we're gonna be adding two tablespoons of cashew butter, not teaspoons. So I've got 500 mils, give or take, of boiling water. So just enough to really help this simmer down and turn into a lovely thick sauce. Just get a fork and just squash all those tomatoes and let that boil vigorously for a couple of minutes. He said, get some boiling water and he got it out of his greenhouse. So does he have a kettle in his greenhouse? I mean, it was possible if you have a little tea kettle or something in your greenhouse. Jamie actually does have a teapot in his greenhouse. Now you can take a fork as Jamie is doing and just squish the tomatoes. Or if there's enough sauce actually in the pan, you can take a hand blender and blend everything together until it's more of a sauce. I am gonna put some chili in. The question is how much? I think what I'm gonna do it's just going with one and a half. Of course it depends on the pepper, but one and a half little chilies is not a lot. If you want to take the edge off the spice, put like two teaspoons of mango chutney. The mango chutney is the chili jam of butter chicken. Wait, what, what are you putting? Teaspoons of mango chutney. What, what, ma ma mango, what? Put like two teaspoons of mango chutney. Two teaspoons of mango chutney. Ma mango chutney? He putting mango chutney into pan. This all over now. You make Uncle Roger put leg down from chair and you make all our ancestors cry again. Hiya. Today we got the exact same mango chutney that Jamie used in the video. Well, I think it's the same type because there are multiple types with ginger and with other spices and herbs with them. And if you taste this mango chutney before, it's super sweet. Now what we can do is get that chicken in there and we want the chicken to be really juicy, right? And I want quite big chunks. I don't want like little wafy bits. And then I'm gonna put this in the sauce and let that chicken simmer. What I'm gonna do now is just spoon three tablespoons of yogurt through the sauce. Just a little bit of coriander on the top. And that, my friends, 
is going to be a beautiful curry. Thank goodness we're almost finished with this recipe. Now I'm going to take the chicken and cut it like Jamie did into big, big pieces, not little wafy pieces. I'm going to add that back into the sauce, a little bit of extra yogurt as well, and some coriander to give it some color. So look, I've got some rice here. I put some chickpeas in and then just get it in there. Look at that. Uncle Roger didn't like the chickpeas. Chickpea Middle Eastern, Jamie. Mm. Uncle Roger, phone drop. I don't even care anymore. This is too painful. This is not Indian. This butter chicken has everything except butter and Indian. And then just get it in there. Look at that. Big chunks of meat. Let's get amongst it. So, so good. That's good to go. Let's feed the family. So do you like it, River? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I'm actually a little hesitant to taste this because I've made this, I smell it, and you know, it doesn't smell quite the same as actual butter chicken, and I don't know. Well, in any case, we're gonna taste it. This is really good, I wish. But surprisingly, even after we added the garlic, the ginger, the garam masala, the dominating flavor right now that I taste is the cashew butter. That is like the only flavor that I'm tasting with some extra spices added to it. I do want to say though that Jamie has been cooking for many, many, many years and he makes recipes easier and simpler for people that normally don't cook. Hopefully all of you did enjoy this recipe review. I didn't have as much fun making it because I constantly thought that I'm going to have to throw all this food away because really I don't like wasting food, but I honestly don't want this to be my lunch. So please do give the video a like and a share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content that we will make. And let me know your thoughts on any other reviews or anything that you would like us to do as well. Until next time, take care and be sure to check out this next video coming up here. <laughs>